fellow garden friends. So I need to do a lot in the garden in order to prepare for the upcoming fall growing season. And the first things that I need to do is take care of this colossal mess behind me and remove a lot of these weeds because I'm going to be taking my artichokes and moving them on the outside of the garden. And in order to do that, I need to clean up this mess. Now, I absolutely cannot stand the way that this weed feels on my hands. It's got like some sort of oil in it. So I'm going to be wearing, I guess I only have one glove. I don't know where the other one is, but I'm going to be wearing a glove. Um, I think that these weeds are tumbleweeds in their growing form. Um, but yeah, I just don't like the way that they feel. So uh, this glove needs to go on. And I'm looking around my garden to see if I have any other, my other glove. And I don't see it anywhere. So one glove is going to have to do. And it comes out of the ground pretty darn easy, but it's grown into this chicken wire. So I'm gonna see. Oh, and it stinks too. It's very pungent. Yeah, I'll just wait till it dies to pull it out of this. It's pretty easy for the most part, but I think it'd be easier with two hands. I don't know if you can see the oily, greasy, sticky stuff on my hand from pulling those, but that is just a gross, gross feeling. Okay, so at some point yesterday, my camera died um, in the midst of me ripping out all of these weeds on the outside of the garden. Um, I just kept going and I actually wish I would have done this sooner. I think that it really opens up the garden a lot, which it makes sense, right? But when I went in there yesterday, it almost felt like my bar my garden could breathe again, uh, which is a really good feeling. So, um, so I need to continue and do the backside over here, pulling out all of those weeds. And then I think I'm gonna get the front weeds over here also. But yesterday when I pushed down, because there's some hog wire panels right there, and yesterday when I pushed those down, I noticed that the zip ties that are holding the fence together over there are broken. So the fence is just kind of leaning here. So I need to fix that. I probably need to use some sort of metal wire or something to hold that up because the zip ties just aren't gonna last. But yeah, I need to get this section done here and then this is the section that I got done yesterday. And this is the pile of weeds that I got. It's right there <laughs> and it's only going to get bigger. So uh, I'm going to start removing the weeds over here. But first we're going to take a peek at my garden kitty. Nice weather. Yet again, my GoPro stopped working. So I cleared out this whole section here and over there and I just want to come through and just rake any of the loose weeds out of the way and see what else needs to be pulled out of the ground. Like so, and I need to get in here and do some of the weeds along the fence line down here. But um, for the most part, this sort of part of the tour is done. So right here I have some wire and this is just the wire that actually comes when you buy 
a roll of this hard wire cloth. It holds it together. And I think I'm just going to use this wire to hold up the hard wire cloth. Okay. I now need to figure out what to do with this massive pile of disgusting sticky weeds. Um, I just need to find a place to toss it and just let it kind of, I don't know, compost. Um, so I just got to find a place for it. I started cleaning up this area right here a little bit, but I'm gonna hold off on that because most of the weeds are actually growing through the fence and that should all be taken care of when I start moving all these artichokes. I think there's 10 of them and they are in 15 gallon pots. And so I think I'm gonna start moving that stuff out of the way and putting them on the outside of the garden. I'm gonna start with this one here. Hopefully the bag does not rip on me. Uh, and I am going to pull off any dead leaves and just drag this one out if I can find the handle. And hopefully I don't knock anything over. I'm getting pretty annoyed because not only are these bags extremely heavy, uh, they keep ripping and I'm kind of over it. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it right now. Um, I did have to bring out the dolly um, just because bending over like that and pulling them is just a lot. So I decided to bring over the dolly and use that um, for a couple of them. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in to the ones that I have over here and clean them up. If they have flowered and they have dead flowers, I'm chopping the whole entire plant down. I'm pulling out any weeds uh, that may be in there and any of the plants that are thriving still looking really good, I'm going to go in and just cut down the underside or cut off the underside of the leaves that are dying. And the thing about artichokes is they continuously grow. So if you plant one somewhere, then um, it will send off shoots you know, and they'll start growing. I'll, I'll give you an example. I'm going to come back for these two at another time. Uh, I just don't have it in me right now, which is fine. But I am going to come through and just clean up these weeds in here. And I'm going to turn off the sprinklers in here so that way it's not watering absolutely nothing. So I've got lots of projects coming up for this garden, so I hope that you will stick around for that. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.